Hey, and uh, welcome to another episode of the Sloppy Bro Show. It's your host, Marcus. Let me first off say welcome, Patriots. Thanks for stopping by. For you new folks, this is your first time here at the channel. Uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and punch that notification bell. That way we can go ahead and get started. So you can tell by the title how I feel about Michael Bloomberg. Basically, Michael Bloomberg is a racist piece of shit. And I can't believe that we have gotten to this. Well, you know what? I can't believe it. But still, I can't believe that we've gotten to this damn point in the country where you can literally be a billionaire and buy your way into an election. Honestly, it's pretty damn disgusting. And I hope that Democrats out there that are watching this, um, I hope you don't stand for it. You know, I really hope that you guys put your foot down and don't let this happen. Um, because I know a lot of you are supporting Bernie, and that's cool. Um, personally, you know, I want you know I want to see changes in both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, where we can kind of get back to the way we used to be, where you know we could reach across the aisles and work with one another. Um, that's not been happening here lately. I hate that it's like that, but you know it is what it is. But I would like to see that change, and. Um, I would like to see Bernie get his shot, personally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think, you know, I like Klobuchar. Uh, I think she's a real good candidate. I like the fact that, you know, she's middle of the road. She's not too extreme left. She's not too extreme right. Um, she's got some good ideas. The only thing I don't like about her is her stance on the Second Amendment and guns. Um, I don't agree with any of her, policy, any of her policies about that. So... Even though it could be worse with her, you know, still don't, still don't want to see it happen. Uh, Pete, Pete's too much of a robot for me. You know, he just he seems very cold, and you can tell that he's being funded by Wall Street. You know, because the DNC does not want Bernie to win at all, and I can see why. Because you know, you know, Wall Street. They like to keep their money, you know, and Medicaid for all, that's going to, you know, cost a whole bunch. Um, you know, Medicaid for illegal immigrants, you know, it's he's going to tear down the border wall. I mean, I can see why, you know, the Democratic Party's not behind him. But I got news for you folks. Unless you guys put your foot down, the DNC is going to fuck him like they did in 2016. You know, and I hate to see that because, you know, I did pull for Bernie in 2016. And that's kind of why I'm not pulling for him now, because, you know, I was really disappointed uh, when they fucked him, you know, when they gave the nomination to Clinton. I was really hoping that he would have, you know, gave him the finger and said, well, you know what, fuck y'all, I'll run as an independent, you know, I'll be a third party. Um, granted, it had been a lot more difficult for him to win the presidency that way, but still, I would have a lot more respect, you know, for Bernie. Because outside of that, you know, I will say this for Bernie, I, I agree with Joe Rogan. You know, Bernie's had the same platform, the same stance, you know, since as long as I've known or been following him, you know, 30 years. He's never changed, you know, where he stands, even though I don't not, I do not agree, you know, with his democratic socialism policies one bit. I will give the man credit, though. He's stood firm and stood his ground. So. I would really like to see him get a shot that, you know, I think it'd be great in 2020. You've got capitalism versus socialism, you know, head to head, you know, who's going to win? Is it going to be Trump? Most definitely. Or is it going to be Bernie? Who knows? The people are going to decide in November. But getting back to Michael Bloomberg, you know, he is literally a racist piece of shit. I mean, he's, he was the guy that did the stop and frisk, you know, in New York. And even though some people claim that, you know, it helped bring crime down, you know, it still doesn't matter. You know, you're still marginalizing, you know, an entire community based on their ethnicity and race. And that's not cool, dude. Not cool at all. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, what the fuck? Then, you know, there was the whole thing with redlining, you know, back in 2008, you know, trying to keep the wealth, you know, from, you know, Blacks and Hispanics, you know, because they didn't want them buying homes or, you know, bettering themselves or moving, risk moving into their neighborhoods. 
I mean, that was pretty fucked up. And then, you know, the comments that he made, you know, regarding, you know, Cory Booker, saying that he was well-spoken. Everybody knows what that is. It's a damn dog whistle. You know, you're, you're, ins- you're trying to insult the guy. So I really hope that the people are paying attention and do not take Bloomberg seriously because he is going to run this country to the ground. Look what he did in Virginia. You know, he spent all that damn money in Virginia, flipped the state blue, and then they went after the gun rights. Now, I know a lot of you liberals don't give two shits about the Second Amendment, you know, or the gun rights. And that's your priority. But you have to understand the Second Amendment is there for a reason, to protect the first. Because if we lose the second, we're going to lose the first eventually. And then what's the point of having America? I mean, we left England, told King George to fuck off because of the First Amendment. You know, because we wanted the freedom, you know, of religion, freedom of speech. And it seems like, you know, right now, particularly with the left, they're trying to do whatever they can to destroy and get rid of that, which makes no sense to me because, I mean, that's what this country was founded on, freedom. Why would you want to give up your freedom? You know, why would you want bigger government telling you what you can and cannot do and how to live, you know? taking your hard-earned money that you work hard for, you know, and applying it to shit that you're never going to see or use. It blows my mind. And that's exactly what Bloomberg's going to do because that's what he did in Virginia. You know, he flipped that state blue by pushing his advertisement because he's doing it now. I mean, for Christ's sake, he's made it to the damn debates tomorrow night. I mean, what has he done? He's not even won a primary. You know, he didn't go to, you know, Iowa. He wasn't in, what, New Hampshire? I mean, this is ridiculous. You cannot, you should not be able to buy your way into an election. So I really hope that, you know, you Democrats, you liberals pull together and somehow figure out how to put a stop to this shit. I know what I've been doing. When every time I see his damn uh, campaign advertisement on Facebook, I report that shit. Granted, I know it's not going to get him taken down by any means, but still, if enough of us report it, you know, maybe they'll get the damn message that, you know, We don't want him running. You know, because I really would like to see it come down to Sanders and Trump. You know, capitalism versus socialism 2020. You know, that'd be like fucking, you know, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. You know, or Conor McGregor and, you know, fucking, what is his name? Damn, Packy Manico, you know, the fighter, the boxer. You know, something like that. It'd be fucking crazy. You know, we could put an end to this whole socialism versus capitalism thing for all. You know, and then maybe we can get to the business of, you know, fixing and running this country. You know, because I got to tell you, you know, things are running great right now. You know, whether you believe it or not, I mean, low unemployment, you know, for blacks and Hispanics, whites, everybody, you know, deregulation has, you know, created new job possibilities and opportunities, tax cuts, you know, on the corporate level, have come down to where I see I see the tax cuts in my damn paycheck. I mean, compared to the way it was under Obama, you know, things are really starting to look up. And I want to see that momentum keep going. But at the same time, I also want to see a good fight. So, yeah, Bloomberg, if you're watching this, get the fuck out, man. Just pack it up. Take your damn money and just go do... You know what? Go kiss China's ass because we know that you're bought and paid for by them. You know. That's the other damn thing. With Bloomberg in charge as president, this shit with damn China, you know, it's going to get a lot damn worse. Because, you know, our politicians have been selling us out to damn China for years. (coughs) And now it's starting to catch up to us. You know, so we need to put an end to that shit too. But anyway... Like I said, let's stop Bloomberg. Republicans and Democrats, let's band together and get Bloomberg out because I'm afraid that if he does win the nomination, and for God's sakes, if he wins the presidency, he'll try to pull a third-term shit like he did in New York, and then people moving forward are going to think they just have to buy their way into the presidency, and that's not what this country's about. we got to get the money out of politics. It's got to go. You know, any American naturalized 
and born here deserves a fair shot at running for the office of presidency or to be a congressman or a senator or whatever, you know. And the problem is, you know, for so long, it's just been the elite, rich, and the well, you know, the people with money that have been able to run, you know. Occasionally, we get the little guy in there, you know, like AOC, even though, God, I cannot stand AOC (coughs) with her Green New Deal. But I will say this. It's good that, you know, she's in there, and it's good that, you know, she did it not being rich. We'll see how the years progress, though, how it changes her, especially if she wins re-election in her district, which personally I don't think it's going to happen. I think the people, you know, in her district, you know, are going to wise up and vote her ass out in the next election. We'll see, though. (coughs) I'm not 100% sure, but a person can dream. But, yeah, outside of that, you know, I'm really hoping that, you know, after 2020, even if Trump does get reelected, I hope we can set aside our differences and really start to reach across the aisles and start working together like we once did. Because that's what this country needs, man. We got to heal. We got to get, we got to pull together. You know, this country is big enough for all of us. You know, we've all got the same chance and opportunity to do something good. You know, we just have to want to work for it. You know, nothing's free. Nothing's ever free. Somebody's going to pay for something, you know. But, you know, if you saw my video, I talked about that a little bit this morning, so I'm not going to really get into that right now. Main thing is, Michael Bloomberg is a racist and a piece of shit. And I just wanted to get that out there. So if you agree with me and you think that he's a racist and a piece of shit, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, you know. I'll be doing a live stream probably this Friday. That's usually when I do my live streams. And then throughout the week, you know, I'll drop a video here and there. Usually if I've just got something on my mind that I want to get off my chest, you know. So you can always stick around for those as well. But as always, thanks for stopping by. Let's all work together, set our differences aside to make America and to keep America the greatest country on earth. Anyway, I love and respect you all, even those that I disagree with. I wish you nothing but the best. And as always, I will catch you fuckers on the flip side. Peace.